On this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, Bob is back at Southern Woods Plantation in Sylvester, Georgia for some more quail hunting. And this week's Sportsman's Table Recipe features a South Carolina certified fried snapper recipe. Stay tuned for this and a whole lot more on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. We shot this hard. Look at that. Wow, let me hold that thing. Nice. Well, folks, welcome to our show this week. We are back down to Southern Woods and with more of our Chevy partners. If you saw last week's show, well, I'll tell you what, we had some great action with some great partners. And again, I always got to ask you, what's in your garage and if it's not a Chevrolet then well you're just wrong but I've got some special guests that are gonna start off with me this week and gonna be my wingmen and on my far right over here is John Thornton he's the owner of John Thornton Chevrolet in Lithia Springs Georgia and next to him is my good friend William Strickland of Bellamy Strickland Chevrolet in McDonough Georgia and Trey Detmering is also with John Thornton Chevrolet in Lithia Springs and guys I I just have to give you the old bump all the way down uh, go Auburn Tigers huh yeah, ah, yeah William <laughs> John listen it is it is a pleasure to have outdoorsmen but also Chevrolet dealers who love the outdoors and I know you guys do um, this is what you do you love doing this and I love taking and going with you so I just want to thank you with that and thank for all that you guys do for all of us outdoorsmen okay it, it is it is a great great opportunity for us and John you and I, I think, um, Mr. Newt Hughes is going to put us on the first covey, and then I'm going to hunt with each one of you guys, okay? Now, just be easy on me and John out here, okay? <laughs> it, it'll be all good, okay? <laughs> Thanks, bro. And, uh, well, guys, listen, I, I, again, I, I thank you all, the thank individual. You. We're going to do that all, thank but you, I'll tell you what, War Eagle. War Eagle. All right, man. You ready, Dogs. John? Let's go. Let's go do her. What are you thinking, Dixie? Get him Dixie. Yeah, he did. Up, <laughs> oh, there to go. There, down. Okay, awesome. How many did you get, John? A three, I think. Okay, that's all I'm talking about. Woo! Whoa! That's a nice cubby rise out of that. Nice cubby rise. I know, I know. And the only good thing about that. Is it Southern Woods? <laughs> <laughs> Southern Woods is great. You know, listen, I have to ask, uh, how many years have you been a Chevrolet dealer? And, you know, just your dedication and, uh, is just remarkable. I mean, I, I know you put your heart and soul in that dealership. Well, I have. I've, I've been uh, a dealer since 1983. Wow. And, uh, Trey came in and, and took over a few years ago, so we're... We're good partners now. He's a he's a great uh, great dealer. He's a lot smarter than I am and does all this newfangled stuff a lot better than I do. But uh, we've been able to develop a uh, a great relationship that thrives when we get out and do things like this. I, uh, uh, right after he came to work for us, I started a, a deal going at once a year quail hunting with I he and my you. other son-in-law. It's oh, been great. That's awesome. All right, the kids say they're here. Dixie's looking. Two dead and one sore butt. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Dixie, heal. Got to be more in there, Bill. Got to be more in there. All right, Bill's on point, straight in there on that dead bird, so y'all watch him. All right, William. Okay. I Get see him. Well, that may be clear. Those birds. Bill move. says we're done here. Okay. All right, Bob, you saw I needed a little help. Nah, I'll be, I'm, I'm right there with you. <laughs> we just as soon as Dixie gets it up. Dixie did good. Right. There's the other one. There's our other dead bird. That yep. was the one I was looking for. Come here. Yep. Point in the back, William. 
Nicely done. Mm. Dot and Bill. Boy, that's real pretty when they're getting it like is, that, isn't it? It is, Dixie makes three. I got a feeling it's coming your way, William. Whoa. Mmm. I think it went around that tree. I had to have an excuse on that one. I, you know, gosh. Goodness. Mm. Oh, well. I can't get well, them all. Well, you know, Bob, I sometimes. I can't get them all, brother. Bob, sometimes you got to leave a little seed. Some, you know? got to, I'm telling you. You got to leave seed. Well, listen, let's talk a little bit about Bellamy Strickland and, and your years as a dealer and just, of course, you're a big outdoorsman, okay? I see you all the time and, and you know, it's just one of those things that it, it's really a pleasure because you guys, you get it and, and you do as an individual. Well, thanks. I enjoy being outside an awful lot and enjoy, I was raised in the country. I'm a country boy at heart and I love getting out there. I've taught my daughter to get outside a little bit. She enjoys horses and, hunt, and hunting a little bit. So the, um, and we enjoy being out here with you guys. Uh, Chevrolet is a big part of the outdoors, as you know, uh, and it's been really good to both of us. Well, I can tell you, it's been great having you as a wingman today, but you know, there's a lot more birds out here, so let's, let's see if we can go get some. All right, All right Bob, man, thanks a lot. It. All right, thanks. Whoa. Get a bird. Ah. Get a bird. Find him, Dixie. Find him. There he goes, take him, Trey. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Woo! Mm. Listen, you know, I, I can tell. John's got you out of that dealership, though. I'm War Eagle, man. You know, you know, it's been a while since you and I have been not only on camera, but been hunting together. The last time I remember, it was colder than a well digger's butt in the Klondike. With 14, snow. yeah, 14 degrees, ice and snow, and, and we were out quail hunting. But I, you know, great conditions Whoa. today. Perfect. Man. But I can tell you still get out and hunt a little bit as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I, I know you love the outdoors, okay, but you also love Chevrolet, and that's been your life. And you know, tell me a little bit about your background and history of that, because I mean, it really means so much to us who love the outdoors. I have. I. Um got into it about 15 years ago with uh, the family business and uh, have gotten to, to meet and do things that uh, I never would have thought I would have gotten to do with Chevrolet. And, uh, it's been a great ride. Well, we got more quail out there, brother. Let's huh? go get them. More eagle. Okay. <laughs> you know, as dedicated Auburn fans, they're everywhere, okay? They really are. But I have to say, go Vols, okay? Uh, yeah, Tennessee, got to have it. All right. Let's go, man. We'll get right, some more quail. All right. All right, Trey, I got a feeling they're all going to go your way. Dick. Dick. <laughs> Dick, come. Get a bird. Get a bird. Get a bird. There they go. Oh. There we got them. Woo, and they're still coming out of there. Man. Well, this looks like a water retrieve here. Dixie. In a water retrieve. Trey, you don't see that every day. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. There she comes. Mm. When we face adversity, we find a way through it. It's about taking care of each other. It's the small parts that make a big difference. At Chevy, we promise to do ours. We're offering current Chevy owners OnStar Crisis Assist services and complimentary Wi-Fi data. If you need a new Chevy, interest-free APR financing for 84 months on many of our most popular models or defer monthly payments for 120 days. You may even shop online and take delivery at home where available. It's just our way of doing our part. In these times of uncertainty, there is one certainty in the state of South Carolina, that our South Carolina Department of Natural Resources is still playing a critical role in conserving fish, wildlife, and other natural resources in our great state. South Carolina Department of Natural Resources looks forward to seeing you enjoy the great resources that they've dedicated themselves to protecting, not only for your family, but for theirs as well. Go online for up-to-date information on South Carolina's great natural resources and those who protect it. History. 
Southern Charm. Beautiful wildlife. Other things in this world might change, but in the old 96 district in South Carolina, those things will always be there. When it's safe to travel, the old 96 district invites you to dream now, but discover the old 96 district of South Carolina later. Everything is upside down. People can't be next to each other. They canceled sports. And I'm running dangerously low on TP. It's a good time to go fishing. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. Chevrolet the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By Browning, Browning, the best there is. By the old 96th District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders. By South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your source for all your promotional product needs. And by the City of Florence, South Carolina. Florence is full life, full forward. Well, folks, welcome back to our show this week. You know, I always love having great friends. Well, you know, when you're quail hunting, you got to have a good wingman, and I've got two of the best from the state of South Carolina, two of my great friends, the one right next to me here, Chuck McDonald. Hey, Bob. Okay, McDonald Law. This guy keeps me out of trouble. Tiger fan number one, okay, and I tell you what, the next one is Brian White, representative from Anderson, South Carolina. These two guys are great outdoorsmen. They love it. Brian. Bob. Thanks so much for being Thank a guest you. on the show, and, and both you guys. I mean, you. coming down to South Georgia to quail hunt. I mean, look at you styling and profiling, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, you know, Brian, I, you do so much for the sportsmen, not only throughout the state, but you also do it on, an, on a national level as well. That's right, yeah. The Congressional Sportsman's Foundation has state chapters called NASC, and uh, matter of fact, we just finished up our annual event here in South Georgia. Uh, and brought in people from all over the country to show them how great South Georgia is for quail hunting and other types of hunting. But Bob, thanks for you for always being a good supporter of ours in the great outdoors. And oh, what Brian, you it, it is a pleasure. And you know, Chuck, I tell you what, the, the thing I got to say about this guy, McDonald Law, okay, you're wondering, hmm, why has he got an attorney? Well, you never know when you may need one, okay? You know, we always say, 911, call Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like the Maytag repairman with you. You, you never get any trouble, buddy. You, you, no, you sir. Rock solid. Bo, I got two great coaches. Yeah. I got two great wingmen. I want to thank you both. Let's go shoot some Let's birds. Do Let's do it. All right, man. Yes, sir. Dot. That's the trick. And yeah. Bill have got us a bird here, and here comes Dixie. Mm. I might have to buy some and try that trick on the way home. Deep fried smoked Dick. sausage. You have some pretty dogs. Good spot. Good bird, Dick. Dick. Get it. There he is. Woo! Mm. I thought he was coming your way. I'm sorry, ah. gosh. Man. Ugh. They should come my way. They know I, I, keep, I keep missing them so far this morning. But I have some good company rises, I'm telling you. I, you know, one of the great things about coming down here is bringing friends who love to do this. Yeah. I have to ask you, I know you kind of do it all. Um, what is your favorite thing? What do you love to do the most? Well, we're doing it. Do you really? Yeah. Honestly. Uh, I, I don't believe up, I've ever asked you that question. Yeah, I grew up quail hunting. And, oh, wow. Uh, that's all we, we had nothing else to do where I grew up in the rural. South Carolina other than quail hunt. It was all family and farmland around, so that's what we did. My dad uh, taught me to respect the outdoors. You know, if you take game, you have to eat it. You don't just take to be taken, and you thank God for his creatures every day. So. Well, I have to finally ask you, what's coming up special uh, that, that really um, pegs the needle for you with the coalition? I think uh, one of our biggest things that we're doing now is, is the shooting sports. Uh, the fastest growing population of shooters is women, uh, believe it or not. And we're getting high school youth involved in skeet and trap shoots uh, and just to promote sporting.
plays. I mean, it, that's part of shooting because the average person doesn't understand that by buying these guns and buying this ammo, you're contributing to conservation, which, which is God's world. And that's what we're going to try to take care of and provide that access for people to be able to do it. I think that's the number one issue is access. But it, you know, go out, buy a hunting license. You bet. And you'll, you'll preserve the great outdoors. Brian, it's been a pleasure, right. man. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank Let's you. go get some more coffee. All right. All right, Chuck. All right, Mr. Bob. Come on, man. Dick. Wingmen get a bird. on point. Dick. Get a bird. I tell you get what, Dot and Bill are working their heart out for us here this morning. And so is Dixie. There we go. I think that was one of the, that had a leg down on it. Okay, well, we got him anyway. <laughs> Dot says I'm on to the next one. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, Dixie says, look, Dad, huh? <laughs> Give me a break. All right, Chuck, there got to right. be more. This, this could be the big one. Coming my way. I know. Oh, nicely done, Chuck. Awesome shot. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I think they're going to leave us out front. Take it. Oh, you got the tail end. It was coming down. Right, coming down. Hmm. That's okay, Chuck. Yeah. I don't. I. I don't think. I think he'll helicopter in. Yeah, I saw some feathers mm -hmm. fly. Well, Chuck, listen. I, I have to ask you, as Newt's going over there. You know, we've been friends for gosh, 15 over 15 yeah. plus years. Yeah. One of the things that I have really become very fond of you is, is, you know, you've gotten back out into the outdoors. I'm not sure if that's just because I, I get you out here, but you know, you grew up that way. Yeah. Then you kind of got away from that's it a little right. bit. That's right. Absolutely. And now I got to get you out behind a laptop and occasion I to do it. this, but you do. Yeah. And, Thank you for doing that. Oh, listen, yeah. I, I just, it's really so enjoyable to have you out and have you as a wingman, but I, I love, the next thing I got to do is got to get you on the boat. Yeah. Okay. I can. Need, I need some help on the boat, brother. Okay. So, yeah. Now look, I'm gonna go ahead. I know that that you know uh, we're gonna date this a little bit. That your Clemson Tigers. Okay. Because now, but I have to say this. Um, it's been a while. Uh, the last time we were on a show, South Carolina Gamecocks were on a roll. They were. Okay. They had they had Dabo up on the ropes. It was five and zero. Oh, okay. And now it's the tails have turned. Yeah. And now it's six and zero oh against exactly. the Gamecocks. But. You guys lost the national championship, but you'll be back. We'll be back. Okay. Better team won that night. We'll, <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah, but folks, I have to tell you though, Chuck has the best of both worlds. Now, he went to Clemson and got his engineering degree, and then he went to the USC School of Law in Columbia, okay? So he has a balance, but he still leans over to the tiggers, okay? <laughs> it's pretty strong lean, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a degree from South Carolina. Absolutely. Well, look, I, I haven't learned the tiger rag yet, but I'm sure before the trip's over, you'll teach me. We'll sing. Okay, we'll sing. let's go get some right. quail. <laughs> Good deal. When we come back, we head to the sportsman's table for another South Carolina certified seafood recipe. The fear of failure is failure itself. The world of science rewards the ones who are willing to try and fail. Because without the courage to embrace failure, ideas remain ideas. But with that courage to fail and to learn, ideas can change the world. There's beauty here. Beauty that relaxes you. Let breathtaking scenes of Santee Cooper country embrace you. And when it does, keep that moment present. Santee Cooper Country reminds you the beauty of South Carolina's Great Lakes are waiting and ready for you. In these times of uncertainty, there is one certainty in the state of South Carolina. 
that our South Carolina Department of Natural Resources is still playing a critical role in conserving fish, wildlife, and other natural resources in our great state. South Carolina Department of Natural Resources looks forward to seeing you enjoy the great resources that they've dedicated themselves to protecting, not only for your family, but for theirs as well. Go online for up-to-date information on South Carolina's great natural resources and those who protect it. The city of Florence, South Carolina is facing same circumstances most other cities are facing. Businesses are closed. Restaurants are suffering. People are looking for answers. But Florence, South Carolina, like all of America, will come back. Businesses will open. Restaurants will serve and people will have hope again. Florence, South Carolina, full life, full forward. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Welcome to this week's edition of the Sportsman's Table, folks. We're here at Deck 383 Restaurant, a beautiful Myrtle's Inlet, and with me today is Chef Tom Mullally. He is chef instructor, and he owns Strand Catering right here in Myrtle's Inlet. He's got a special fish recipe for us. I tell you what, this guy never ceases to amaze me. Tom, hey, it's, oh, it's a pleasure, man. I know, before we get you, you off, well, I'd love to get you on the boat, but I know you got a tea time you got to get to. There's <laughs> never enough hours in the day. You know I'll that tell works. you, well, what do you got for us? Fresh uh, local red snapper right here out of the inlet, right in our Atlantic waters. Oh, wow. Beautiful stuff. Doesn't get any better than that. So again, as you know, Bob, no bland food allowed. A little salt, a okay. little pepper. Yeah, spice of life. Yeah, we've got our pan uh, piping hot here. Definition of saute is minimal oil and high heat. Mm. So we're gonna look for that sizzle factor. I always want to hear that sizzle. Here we go. Oh yeah. That's it. Now, on a piece of fish like that, I know you guys tell me all the time, don't overcook the meat. Correct. There's nothing worse than an overcooked piece of uh, fish. You don't want it to be dry. You want it to be nice and moist in the center. So uh, you don't want to cook it well, well done, but like medium to mid well. It can be okay. a little loose in the center, center right. just so it's a little bit tender. And we're all about certified SC, okay? Always. Poultry, all of the great things that, that you guys put together and you use not only on the table but in the restaurant. You're right. Always, always. From sea to land, fresh and local. That's how we roll. Sometimes this is one of those items that people don't uh, frequently use. But you know Chef Tom likes to be a little bit different from the competition. Oh, yeah. And we've got rice plantations going on in our state, so I figured it'd uh, be nice and appropriate to have a little rice on there. And this right here, my friend, I love this. This is just fresh roasted silver queen corn shucked off the cob. It's going to go great with our fish. Just uh, fresh and sweet. Doesn't get any better. Mm. Got some carrot sticks. Yeah, yeah. Mm. When we garnish, we're looking for uh, odd numbers, threes and fives, that type of stuff. Okay. It's better for eye appeal. Yeah, man. The plate is definitely coming alive, as we can tell. Got a little yellow squash here. Mm. Look at all those colors coming together. Yes, sir. These are fresh red pearl onions. Mm. I'm always up to something. I'm always in competition I, with myself, Bob. I know you are, and that's a good thing. Right here on the sportsman's table, too. Now, I think it needs a little bit of green. We're going to put some green in there. Okay. And, folks, if you want a copy of Chef Tom's uh, recipe, just log on to BobRedfern.com, and it'll be right there. Mm. It's our beautiful piece of a uh, local snapper. Oh, man, it's all coming alive, Bob. I can mm. feel it. Mm. We're going to lace it with a little uh, roasted red bell pepper sauce. Oh, wow. Mm. Gosh, just makes you want to eat it. Big time. Excellent. Mm, mm, mm. We're going to hit it with a little uh, balsamic glaze. Balsamic glaze is just a little reduction of balsamic vinegar. Okay. Oh, yeah. Balsamic vinegar <laughs> has a lot of uh, natural sugars in there, so when you reduce it down, Bob, on a little medium-low heat, it gets a syrupy texture. Oh, wow. And then I think we just need one more color, a little bit of uh, oh, fresh yeah. scallion. Mm-hmm. There you go, sir. There we Looks go. good enough to eat. Oh, my goodness, Tom. Thank you so much. And, folks, listen, if you want to see what's fresh on the menu, log on to CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy local, eat fresh. You can't do any better. And from Deck 383 Restaurant right here in Merle's Inlet, we want to see you right back here again next week on another great edition of the Sportsman's Table. 
To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy Certified South Carolina Grown Products. It's a matter of taste. The city of Florence, South Carolina is facing same circumstances most other cities are facing. Businesses are closed. Restaurants are suffering. People are looking for answers. But Florence, South Carolina, like all of America, will come back. Businesses will open. Restaurants will serve and people will have hope again. Florence, South Carolina, full life, full forward. When we face adversity, we find a way through it. It's about taking care of each other. It's the small parts that make a big difference. At Chevy, we promise to do ours. We're offering current Chevy owners OnStar Crisis Assist services and complimentary Wi-Fi data. If you need a new Chevy, interest-free APR financing for 84 months on many of our most popular models or defer monthly payments for 120 days. You may even shop online and take delivery at home where available. It's just our way of doing our part. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Bob Red Ferns Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors. Abu Garcia, Abu Garcia, fish to win. A Browning Ammunition, Browning, the best there is. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best in Southern comfort in quail hunting. And by Santee Cooper Country, discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Well, folks, it's time to pack and go. Another show is in the books. Southern Woods Plantation in Sylvester, Georgia. I've got to thank my guests this week, all the guys from Chevrolet. They make it happen. Over the years, Chevrolet makes our destinations possible all across the country. My great friends in South Carolina, listen, it's always wonderful to have wingmen on your side when you're upland bird hunting. The great folks at Browning for the Browning shotguns that I use and the Browning ammunition. Again, I couldn't do it without all those great things, but I couldn't do it without you. Again, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another great episode.